Alright, All right, let's take care of this other pathway. First, I'm buying ammo for the Blitz gun. Yeah, you guys keep trying. Maybe you'll get lucky and one of you will bite me. And then I'm gonna shoot you in the face! And I was like, still can't afford any of my new toys yet. I thought there was a max out thing. I guess they incorporated that on the third game. Oh well. So. Come here, Fido. Eh, all dead. Wait. Now they're all dead. So up here is where the other pathway is. This is more uh, gadget dependent course. I'm going to fix my quick select just because I don't like because I'm weird and I don't like where my uh, swing shot thing is. I haven't done this course in a while. I remember I think I died a few times on it. You can probably see why, too. There's also a hidden path somewhere around here. I'm not going to worry about that right now. Pull this towards me. Jump on it. Come over here. Blah, blah, blah. This is more like the obstacle course phase of the game. I... Someone might want to take notes, I don't know this for sure, but it seems like there's always one that's a gadget heavy course and one that's an enemy heavy course. So, if it's not just me, leave a comment and be like, yeah, that's how Insomniac designs these levels. I love that quick switch feature. Alright. And now we gotta start swimming, and once again, I already have the O2 mess built into my armor, which is so nice. Clank comes with a special Hydra Pack upgrade. Hold R1 to swim faster. While All this water will become much more important real quickly. I mean, that just in time. Swing shot, yep. Ah, uh, not good. I never want to be swinging around like that. That's a problem. Ah, I hate controlling myself underwater. Swim up. Swing shot. And now my niece is here. I have a niece and a dog. This is going to be a real fun recording. Come on. Make it, make it. Aha! Made it! Where are we going? There we go. That's the thing I need. Put that over here real quick before that goes back. So many doggies to shoot in the face. Die, all of you. Got them all. Leveling up is going to take forever. I'll get my next gun my next weapon before this is even finished to leveling up, I guarantee it. Bolt. That was kind of funny. The bullet flew across the map with me to catch up. Alright, here we go. Hmm. It works! My invention works! Huh? It's called the Terminator. It fires charged thermal pellets that can thaw an ice block or freeze a body of water. Gadgetron will pay me millions. Hey, I don't know how long you've been frozen, but I don't think Gadgetron's operated in this galaxy for years. Everyone buys Megacorp products these days. <laughs> hey, 
Maybe you'd like to I buy read it. somewhere that I think one of Insomniac's designers or this character was back in Ratchet and Clank 1 as well. It's either this character was in Ratchet and Clank 1 somewhere, or um, this guy is based off of one of Insomniac's designers, which wouldn't surprise me. Hey, maybe Megacorp is hiring. Use the Therminator to uh, Once again, you know why I'm getting so many bolts because I gotta buy so much stuff that's mandatory. So this will take me nowhere because that's not operating yet. Alright, so I gotta demonstrate how this thing works. You see the little gauge on the uh, right there shows you how long until I get done thawing out or freezing something. If the gauge is turning red, it means I'm um, throwing a block of ice. If it's turning white, it means I'm freezing a body of water. And you can stop this like part way through, so you can control exactly when you freeze or thaw something. This will become useful because there are a few timing puzzles with um, water level that bounces up and down. And of course, Fresh has no control on ice. It's like one of the staples of platform gaming. So I, that is it for this world. That only took a few minutes. Awesome. So now I have, I think, a flight level. And this will be like the first flight level that I can revisit over and over again. Pray that my game doesn't mess up. Although, I think it would have by now, since I'm pretty sure it messes up whenever my controller vibrates. Something about the vibration will cause the system to think my controller is disconnected, which brings up the automatic pause thing. This has happened to me on a few other games. Usually, it's not too bad about it. If it does again, I can try to turn off the uh, vibrate feature and see if that helps. So, this is first level I have to mandatory, just defeat all the ships in the sector. I've already explained how these flying missions work to you. And eventually there's going to be a shop where I can buy upgrades. Yeah. Get back here. Oh. Yeah. Real smart. I'll just fly right into them. And their laser fire. Oh, it's still. Gotcha. Ah. Stop shooting me. I don't like being shot. I'm gonna be. S I need to, like, blow up those blocks of ice or something, because they have, like, uh, refills for my shield. Where's that thing? I want to kill that thing right, right now. Right, that's my missile. Well, let's see. How many? One seven left. Okay. It's way of one seven ships. Less than that now. I really want my shield back. That's not shield, that's raritanium. Although I can use that to buy additional shields. Um, yeah. It was locked on, so I might as well just shoot the missile and get it over with. Uh, wave two. Great. I probably don't want to run into that. Or that. All of you need to just hold still, line up your row, and let me kill you. That works. Pre explosion, too.
Got him. Yeah. Isn't there a barrel roll in here somewhere? I could have sworn that you could do a barrel roll. Yes, I can! Ugh. God, let the Star Fox jokes begin. <laughs> 